Ask most saltwater tank hobbyists how to acclimate a fish, frag a coral, or do a water change, and you're likely going to get a pretty good answer. Ask these same people how a saltwater tank is built, and you'll either get a blank stare, or it's some answer that is so full of BS that the bull itself might get scared. I seek real answers, so I dropped in on Dutch Aquarium Systems to see just how a saltwater tank is really made. Dutch Aquarium Systems, or DOS for short, they do glass aquariums. And glass comes in off the trucks, just like you see behind me. We have different thicknesses, three quarters of an inch, half an inch, three eighths, any size they want, comes in right here. This is raw material glass. <clears throat> now here's a tricky part. How do you get this big heavy piece of glass onto the table to cut it? Here's how they do it. Wait, let's see that again. I'm not kidding. They literally drop the glass off the wall onto the table. That's an eight foot by 11 foot, 720 pound pane of glass dropped onto a table. Imagine being the guy who pushes it over. Now the glass doesn't break when it hits a table, partly because of the padded material on the table and the cushion of the air that is created by the falling glass. The glass doesn't fall perfectly into place, so how does one move a 720 pound sheet of glass? Well, with air, of course. The table has an air compressor built in that creates a cushion of air. The glass floats on this air cushion and makes it easy to move around. Once the thickness of the glass is selected and they slap it down on the table like you saw, it comes over here to computer controlled cutter. Now this thing is completely hands off. You type what you want cut into the computer over here and it takes it away. No work needed on your part other than watching this cool thing do its job. The cutter is just awesome. It seems like it has a mind of its own as it moves around the table to make cuts in the glass. And it's fast. This whole sheet of glass was cut up in about two minutes and all we had to do was sit and watch. The computer took care of everything. It's almost too easy. Once the glass is cut, the worker removes excess pieces by gently breaking them free from the pieces that will go on to make a tank. The excess glass then gets recycled, and the good pieces go on to get holes drilled into them, and then sanded. Wait, sanded? Yep, sanded. Every piece of glass that goes into one of Doss's tanks gets sanded via the water sander. Now before you get too excited about this whole process, realize that it happens at the heart-stopping rate of about five feet a minute. All you gotta do is feed in the glass and then sit and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. Exciting? Not so much, but the end result is worth it. The sanded glass is smooth and it has a nice bevel on it that makes the detail-oriented side of all of us happy. After sanding, the glass gets cleaned through a not-so-high-speed glass cleaner and then put on the conveyor to be assembled. Everyone knows I'm a fan of reef-ready tanks, so that means the tank needs an overflow. A Dutch Aquarium Systems will make a tank with an external overflow or an internal one. The internal overflows are made of plastic and cut in-house on DOS's CNC machine. Once again, a computer does the driving and the machine precisely cuts each piece of plastic, including the overflow teeth themselves. All this is done out of one big sheet of black plastic. The end result is a precision cut, clean overflow for the tank. Now that we've got the glass cut, sanded and cleaned, and our overflows are cut, it's time for assembly. Since Dutch Aquarium Systems has been in business since 1972, they've got the assembly process down and quite possibly develop some trade secrets along the way. Therefore, they won't let me talk about it. In fact, they won't even let me or my camera inside the assembly area. But what Das did show me next made me forget about not getting to see any trade secret. Here was my new 235 gallon tank, fresh from curing and ready to go home with me. A nice upgrade from my 90 tank, but I kept getting distracted by this monster room divider tank that weighed in at 357 gallons. Holy cow, this thing is big. If I had a room to put it in, it would have come home with me and I would have left my 235 gallon tank right there. But I didn't, so for now, I'll let the big one go and take my new 235 gallon tank with me. Not such a bad deal, I think. DOS offers local pickup or crating and delivery of your tank. Now, here's a tip for you. DOS does such a good job of crating up their tanks that it's gonna take you and quite possibly a couple of your buddies to break it all down. And all this wood makes a really good firewood, so for those of you in a cold climate, take note. Whether you like really big aquariums or little small ones, when it comes to creating the slice of the ocean right in your own home, 
It all begins with the aquarium itself, because if you don't have this, you got nothing. So thanks Dutch Aquarium Systems for letting me come and have a tour of your factory, and thanks for putting together my new tank. I'm Mark Callahan, Mr. Saltwater Tank. This has been Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Until next time, have a good one, enjoy your tanks, and know your tank personality.